What is the Geisinger Primary Care Scholars Program and how can it help Geisinger students graduate debt free? Sure, well, this is extremely exciting. Within the Geisinger Scholars Program, we have two opportunities for students to come out of medical school debt free. So the first is um, our Abigail Geisinger Scholars Program, which we launched in the spring of 2019 to our current students. Um, and then also in the fall of 2019, we opened it up for our first year medical class. And so each and every year, we award to 10 incoming students um, the Abigail, they are awarded the Abigail Geisinger Scholars Program. And what that covers is tuition and fees um, for up to four years. And so if you are an Abigail Geisinger Scholar, Scholar and you come into our medical school and we give you four years of tuition and fees, you will give us four years of service post-residency within the Geisinger Healthcare System. The Abigail Geisinger Scholars Program is open to all specialties, so it's not um, specifically focused on one. We just launched, and we will uh, be announcing our Geisinger Primary Care Scholars in a few weeks um, for our current students, and this will become available to the incoming MD class of 2024. We will award 40 Geisinger Primary Care uh, Scholar Award, and that will cover tuition fees and provide a $2,000 a month stipend while enrolled in medical school. So, and that is along the same lines of the Abigail Geisinger Scholars Program in the sense that if we fund you for four, if we cover your four years of tuition and fees and give you $2,000 a month in a stipend, you will then give us the four years of service post-residency. However, we do have specific specialties that this program is limited to. Got it. And those specialties are family medicine, internal medicine, and medicine pediatrics. And again, we will award 40 to each so incoming almost, class. Almost half your class, right? Your, half, your, your classes, I, I, I have a note here that's 115 students. So that's, that's correct. And in 40 is 50. That's almost half. Um, that's, that's a very good percentage of the class. It really is. We're very proud of these two <laughs> programs in our efforts to reduce medical student debt and to mitigate the physician shortage within our uh, primary service area. 